your dream, you, uh, tell me again your dream again, real quick. dream you told me that you you seen these bubbles they were clear and yeah. something told you that you had to run into the bubble and you ran inside the bubble and it started floating up in the air and then what you see you look down you was going up so t tell me a little bit Eden, but behind, behind, it's gonna be like a burning fire. It's gonna be desolate. That lava, you had a spiritual dream. You had a, you had a vision, baby. But it was like, it was like a cartoon. It was like cartoon ones. And yes. It was like cartoon. <laughs> yes, baby. Yes, mama. Oh, look at your book, mama. That's beautiful, baby. <laughs> I like it, mama. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to, um, I record this, I'm going to put this, I'm going to do, I'm going to share it with the, with the brotherhood, because this is, it's a very spiritual dream you have, baby, all right? And then, it was like a Roblox game, I spotted it. was like a Roblox game. Okay. No. So, baby, so when you... Shalom, shalom. All praises to Yahweh. Bashim, Yao Shai, Bashim, Akakadash, Shalom, Lubakarium, Shaw, Yasharala, Early Morning Plantation, and um, through the Spirit, you know, usually I don't share, you know, my children, you know, when I do videos in public like this, but the Lord put the Spirit on me to share it. This is my daughter, my 10 year old daughter. I have three daughters. 13, 10 years old, and four years old. And that was my four-year-old in the background, my, my youngest one. Um, and um, through the spirit, you know, my my, my 10-year-old, she, she called me this morning while I was at work. And um, she told me about a dream she had, you know, and usually she gets a lot of dreams, but, you know, a lot of times she forgets to call, to tell me. But for some reason, she called me for this dream because she said that it felt so real. And she said she was a little bit afraid during the dream. And as you brothers have heard her say, you know, she said that she was outside. She see a whole bunch of circles, a bunch of bubbles, you know, a lot of bubbles. And she saw she saw her friend and kids, and um, she said something told her to 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 go into the bubble, and um, she ran into the bubble, and she said as soon as she got into the bubble, inside the bubble, it started floating up into the air. She said all the bubbles were floating up into the air, and then she looked at her friend, but she didn't know what happened to her friend. And she said that when she went up into the air in the bubble, she looked down and, and there was no grass. And she said the grass, it turned into lava, volcanic lava, red lava, you know? And all I thought about was the scriptures, man, because, you know, hey, man, that's, that's prophetic. The Lord showed my daughter a vision. You know, this, these are, uh, you know, these nuclear missiles, the destruction of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, that fire is going to destroy everything. You know, and, and that, hey, that's biblical, man. Hey, the Lord said in these last days, he's going to pour his spirit upon all flesh, you know. And um, that's heavy, you know. And um, she said she woke up. She was kind of like afraid, but um, it turned into a game. 
you know, you know, our children are, you know, they, they get certain dreams that the Lord gives them a certain amount, you know, a figment of their thoughts as a child. That's why they see that. But that was a heavy dream because those were chariots. Those were the angels. You know, I perceive those were the chariots. Those bubbles were the chariots. And she was uh, lifted up, you know, and made the most high, Yah, Bashim, Yah, have mercy on me and my family, man. Because we want to be delivered from that fire that's coming, that destruction that's going to burn up these people. All right? And the scripture, let's get Revelation 11, verse 12. And they heard a great voice from heaven saying unto them, Come up hither. And they descended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. And yeah, that's when the Lord returns. You know, they, the elect, they're going to be beamed up. One third, the elect lady, children, elderly, old, you know, they're going to be beamed up. Verse 13, and the same hour was there a great earthquake, and the tenth part of the city fell, and, the, and in the earthquake were slain of men 7,000, and the remnant were affrighted and gave glory to the God of heaven. Yeah, seven means completion. There's going to be a lot of people dying here in Babylon the Great. That earthquake is going to be caused by the nuclear missiles when they hit this place. You know, and the elect are going to be rejoicing, being saved. All right? And this is powerful, man. You know, <clears throat> Joel 2, verse 3. You know, when she said she was, uh, she ran into the bubble. She said in the dream, she knew, my daughter says she knew she had to go inside the bubble. You know, she had to go into that bubble quick. You know, verse three, a fire devoured before them and behind them a flame burneth the land is as the garden of Eden before them and behind them a desolate wilderness, yet nothing shall escape them. And that's that lava that she seen when she saw that she said it was no grass she looked down as she was floating up inside that bubble. It was only lava, a lot of lava. And that's what's going to happen, man. Now, this is the book of Isaiah 26 and 20. Come, my people, enter thou into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. And the Lord is going to bring righteous judgment to Babylon the Great. Those chambers represents those chariots, so-called UFOs, when the angels come back to deliver the elect from Babylon the Great. And that includes our children, the one-third, women, men, the elderly. All right? Now, it's interesting because I went into the... Uh, Blue letter, and I look up this word, door, thy doors, right? Check this out. All right. Strong's H, 1817. Deleth, Deleth. Thy doors, and it says door, gate, a door, a gate, of chest lid, of crocodile jaws. Here it goes right here. Of doors of the heavens. All right? Of doors of the heavens. See that? These are where the angels, the chariots are coming from, the heavens. They're coming from the heavens. All right? Now, interesting, right? Let's go to the root word. Check this out. The root word, to draw, dangle, to draw, draw in advice, to draw up. See that? To draw up. And that's what the chariots are coming to do. Those are those chambers. Those are those doors. They're coming to beam up the elect. They're going to draw them up. They're going to draw up into the air, man. They're going to be beamed up, draw up into the air, man. Because those are the doors of heaven. They're coming from the spiritual world, the chariots, the angels, to save the elect, man, from the four corners of the earth. You know? Call Lord, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, brothers. You know? So I wanted to share that through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, man. You know, the dream, the vision that my, 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 my 10-year-old daughter had. You know, usually I don't share 
my kids out like that, show them, you know, on video or nothing like that. But, you know, I wanted to, uh, you know, share this vision to the brotherhood. Call all y'all by Shimmy Shalom.